Hey, good evening. Let's see if I have any late night followers out there. Uh, this is Julie Barkas, Workplace Transformationalist. And I just wanted to come to you with a quick tip um, for tonight. And I was thinking about, you know, President's Day coming up, and some of you might be engaging your staff in training. And I just wanted to talk to you about a messy management mistake. And I want to help you avoid this mistake so that you can really unite your team and take your ability to function together to a whole new level. And if you're here this evening, if you're joining me, feel free to say hello. I'd love to read your comments and I love your likes and your hearts. And if you're tuning into the replay of this, feel free to also say hello, as I do often read the comments that are left for me. So tonight I just wanna share with you, you know, I've been partnering with childcare owners and directors we're going on 20 years and if you've been watching my videos I probably say that every single time but it's true hey Francesca thanks for joining us nice to have you here um, but in that time I've really discovered what demotivates your staff and we've come up with about 40 different things that are really demotivators because if you look at your staff when you hire them they're excited they're on fire um, they're looking forward to their work days, but then when they get into your workplace, different things happen that really cause them to de be demotivated. And that's what I've spent a lot of time looking at is what are these demotivators and how can we turn them around so that we're not dealing with the messy circumstances that they create. You know, and the interesting thing about these demotivators is that they all happen from the tippy top of your organization downward. So everything that we need to do to really have a motivated team starts from the top down, but in a very specific way. So what I wanna share with you tonight in this quick late night video <laughs> is just about one of these demotivators that I'm gonna call a messy management mistake. And if you're thinking about doing staff training at an upcoming President's Day, or you have a staff meeting coming up, I wanna let you know that it's really important that the owner, that the director, that who's ever involved with the day-to-day -day management or even the week-to-week -week or even the month-to-month, -month, but if you have interaction with staff, it's really important that everybody come together and be present for the training. A lot of times I'm asked the question, hey, Julie, you know, should we just give our staff a confidential space with you to really vent their frustrations and their concerns? And I will come back and say, well, the more powerful approach is if we can get everybody together where there is an opportunity for growth, an opportunity to increase communication. So if you're thinking about, hmm, I'm the director, I'm the owner, should I be at the training? Should I be in on these confidential conversations? Whatever it might be. I say, absolutely. The whole goal is to break down communication barriers, to eliminate gaps and close those so that you can move forward and function as a dynamic team. Now, when I come on site and I work privately with my childcare owners and directors, I'm often faced with situations where we get together for the training and the director or owner is busy setting up breakfast. They leave for that, then they come back for a little bit, then they go get lunch. So they're always in and out. So it's not really like they're an active participant in the day. So you wanna make sure that your time is clear. I would get an assistant to set up for lunch and all that kind of stuff so that you can be fully engaged and fully present. And the important thing to realize is that your staff is watching your every move and they will model your positive behaviors by like, you know, 10% where they'll model your negative behaviors by like 150%. So if they see that you're not fully engaged, especially if you make a training or a staff meeting mandatory, they're gonna be like, oh, why am I even here? It's not even that important to, uh, to the owner. So make sure if you are the owner or if you are the director, either or, you are fully engaged and your distractions are minimized so that you're not leaving the room, so that you're not saying, oh, I gotta go do this and I gotta go do that. It is so critical that you are fully there and um, just 
a part of the process. That's what's really important. Hey, Danielle, nice to see you here. One of my late night people. <laughs> um, I, one time I had an owner and she arranged for me to come on site and present a full day program. And we had customized the program. We were ready to go. And it was the day before she said, hey, you know what? I don't think I can make it for the presentation, but I'm wondering if you could record everything that's being said. And I'm like, hmm, that's an interesting request. Why would you want me to record everything that's being said? And she says, well, you know what? I you know, really want to be the fly on the wall and hear who's saying what about who. And this told me very clearly that she had a very dysfunctional purpose of wanting to record and of not wanting to be there. So make it your job to really be a part of the process. Incorporate two words, be vulnerable, be transparent, and if there's things that you haven't been doing right, your meeting or your training is a perfect time to say, hey, you know what? Here are some things that I haven't done quite right as your leader, and this is what I'm going to change going forward. And then take full responsibility for the change that you want to implement. So this messy management mistake is to be, or to refrain from being <laughs> absent, but to be fully present during your trainings and during your staff meetings. Don't just come for a little bit of time and then walk away thinking that your role is not important. Remember, they're modeling your negative behaviors, they're modeling your positive behaviors, and if you're setting a meeting to mandatory, but you're not fully present or aware for that meeting or there for the meeting, then they're gonna be like, ugh, checking out mentally. So make sure that you are fully present at your staff meetings and at your trainings and that you have somebody to help you if there are other distractions that will be going on that may take you away. So this is just one late night messy management mistake I wanted to come to you with is to not be fully present, thinking your staff needs confidentiality to talk about things without you being present. The whole objective should be to break down communication barriers and uh, to create an environment where you are unified with your team. So you and your team are unified, which means you need to be present, you need to be there. Hey, Amelia, nice to see you here. All right, any questions for me? Go ahead, leave them below. I'll stay with you for a moment. Um, otherwise, please like this, please give it a heart. It helps other people to see this video and to spread the news that if you're thinking about a staff training, if you're thinking about a staff meeting and you're wondering, hmm, should I be there? Should I not be there? Should I be engaged? Should I just kind of not be? You should be fully engaged in these meetings so that you're breaking down those walls and everybody is unified. All right, so that should be the goal. All right, and if you have any comments, please leave them for me. I'm gonna wrap up this video in just a moment. Um, but uh, also, if you're feeling a little bit stuck in terms of how do I really motivate my staff? How do I rock my workplace culture? How do I create the environment that I really know in my heart's possible, but I just can't figure out how to get us there? How do I do this? I want you to private message me and request a discovery session. This is a 20 minute call where you and I will look at where you're at right now, talk about where you wanna grow and what your next best action steps are. We offer these on a very limited basis so if you're interested, please make sure that you shoot me a private message and we'll get you on the calendar. All right. Well, thank you, especially Francesca and Danielle and let's see, Amelia. Thank you for being here with me live. I see more of you on also, but it's been a pleasure. And like I said, uh, reach out, get some help. It's really hard to see the box, to see the big picture. If you're for the box example, like let's say you're looking at a cereal box, let's say you're one of the ingredients in the box, it's really hard to jump outside the box and see the box from a fresh perspective. So one of the sure ways that you can grow is to get somebody who can see what you need to do more of or differently, and that's where I come in. So I'd love to help you. Shoot me a private message, get on my calendar for a discovery call, and let's take things to a whole other level in 2018. I'm Julie Barkas, best-selling author of Childcare Business Success and Workplace Transformationalist, speaker and consultant, <laughs> lots of things. Um, and I will see you on the next video. And I hope you enjoyed this tip and got some benefit from it.
Good night, everyone.